Bad blood in sports is a euphemism for heated rivalries. Yet bad blood in fighting means something far more. It's the chill in the air that makes the blood run cold. A personal war so bitter that it transcends all civility. Wow. Oh my goodness. And tips over into outright chaos, leading to an epic and inevitable showdown. I was boiling it, and then you start talking shit, and I'm like, all right, fuck this guy. One little sentence, and the man loses his mind. Shows you how easily mentally he'll be broken. I will take your fucking soul, you understand, you fucking pussy? The 2023 Fighter of the Year, an underdog who shocked the world in September with one of the most dominant performances in UFC history. Oh! We break the system. Oh my goodness! Sean Strickland! Isn't just the new middleweight king, but territorial and unhinged in the most beautiful ways. The unrelenting force from South Africa isn't only undaunted, he is unstoppable. Undefeated inside the octagon, a bludgeoning brawler with the longest active win streak in the division who just keeps coming. Oh! Frank is too classy! Tonight, as the UFC makes its return to the Great North, to one of MMA's great epicenters, Toronto, Ontario, Canada, where some of the biggest fights in UFC history have taken place, the blood feud gets settled once and for all. I'm gonna walk through Dragon. First, the women's bantamweight title is on the line, and a new champion will be crowned, as one of the pioneers of women's MMA is charging in on a five-fight win streak. Wow! Raquel Pennington! A warrior who has landed more strikes than any other in bantamweight history, who's ready to seize the throne. Yet, this Brazilian contender isn't just on the hunt for her first title, but to become the new face of the division, with three straight finishes and a vicious streak that won't quit. She is one of the deadliest submission aces going, and she's one win away from tapping into championship gold. And there is the tab, Myra Bueno Silva! It's time to put up or shut up, as the superhuman powerhouse with the highest strike rate in UFC history is ready to take the middleweight championship back to South Africa if he can overcome the relentless pressure, pace, and menace of the champion whose reign has only just begun. Live from the sold-out Scotiabank Arena in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, it's UFC 297, Strickland versus Duplessis, and it starts right now. <laughs>